Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the Jupiter in Virgo transit. It will begin on August 11th, 2015, and will stay. Uh, Jupiter will stay in Virgo until September 9th of 2016. Now, uh, during this period. Jupiter being in Virgo, I, I expect people collectively be more uh, punctilious with details, more systematic, more exuberance connected with being methodical and organized. You'll see, uh, I think, more people have greater, um, I guess they could say, interest or affinity maybe for cleaning in this period in doing so in a very uh, happy, jocular manner, uh, so to speak. I. I see people um, in this period um, putting uh, expansive, uh, enthusiastic Jupiterian energy into health-related matters, and this could be a wide divergence of things such as uh, working out, getting on a strong um, regimented health type routine or schedule, be more exuberance put into their daily routine, more work uh, connected with this. Uh, people working more uh, laboriously at their jobs. There may be, many people might uh, be required to maybe expand on what, uh, as far as their job tasks and duties, they might be required to learn more uh, things pertaining uh, to their job and at the same time be have a good disposition and attitude uh, regarding this. And you might see that there might be um, more exuberance maybe putting into uh, eradicating uh, perhaps diseases or epidemics that had seemed incurable previously. Now, I'm not saying that necessarily there's going to be a miraculous cure for AIDS or anything like that, but there might be at least strong headway maybe in, in as far as finding maybe a possible cure uh, for AIDS or, or disease that might um, have figured prominently for some time and has not been uh, eradicated. I think you'll see a rise in people uh, being uh, having a healthier outlook on life, which I think maybe would in, could increase uh, perhaps a rise in the vegan population as well as a possibility. I think you'll see, you may actually even see an increase or expansion in employment collectively. Now, I can't speak for other countries, but in the United States, I mean, you hear all the speculation and conjecture uh, regarding a possible uh, strong economic crisis and people seem very despondent and downtrodden regarding this. But it's, I think it's possible that Jupiter in Virgo may actually show uh, an increase in employment and, and you might have a stronger uh, facilitation as far as, as far as money goes uh, because of this. And uh, I, think, I think this could be very strongly possible and, if you, um, and there may be uh, more or less people that are unemployed in this period than, than previously. So also see, uh, people doing maybe more traveling in connection or conjunction with their their place of employment. They may there might be more people that are uh, may go travel abroad, go overseas in in things pertaining uh, to their employment that they and people that maybe have never even done this may may find that they're doing this more frequently uh, during this period. So, and it could also be a period where uh, you'll see perhaps a stronger, uh, more enthusiastic interest even in things connected uh, with nutrition and actually doing things where people are providing the service to others and, and just doing things and, and not, not feeling like, oh, this is a subservient role, I don't want to do this. Then you might see more buoyancy and exuberance connected with others just doing things to try to help um, to be of a service to, to others and even people 
that were in uh, that are in position of some kind of prominence or leadership position such as management people in authority where they weren't maybe n not as much in a hurry to uh, to serve somebody else they may you might see an increase in, in those people may be doing uh, doing things uh, for others and not looking at it uh, as something is like a, a, a negative necessarily or that they're lowering themselves to, to actually uh, to maybe uh, be compliant with what somebody else uh, may ask so these are things I think to consider with the Jupiter uh, in Virgo transit for 2015 to 2016. And I think uh, basically it, we're seeing the transition from uh, flamboyant and uh, extroverted Leo into the more reticent, humble uh, Virgo sign. And I think one thing to look at, like, I mean, obviously it's going to impact everybody uh, differently depending on what house it's traversing in your natal chart if somebody has a I guess you call it a Jupiter return you might see a lot more buoyancy in this person's nature during this period especially with things that are pertaining uh, to I, I guess we could say health related uh, matters work related uh, matters perhaps and may uh, may have a transformation in their philosophical outlook during this time and be more prone maybe to be uh, more adventurous uh, as well and embark on maybe long distance journeys would, would might really uh, impact this person but anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment for the jupiter 2015-2016 uh, transit and stay tuned next time where I'll be dissertating and talking about part two of the Jupiter and Virgo transit in which I'll be talking about how it can impact uh, the zodiac signs Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.